Here are five business stories making headlines in sub-Saharan Africa this week. Two executives from Canadian mining firm Trivali have been found guilty of involuntary manslaughter after a deadly flood in Burkina Faso. That's according to the company's country manager who said managers from the Pakoa mine and Trivali's contractor Burncut were given suspended sentences of 12 months and 24 months respectively. Eight miners drowned in Pakoa's underground passages in April after unexpected torrential rains fell in the dry season. The day after new president William Ruto said subsidies were unsustainable, Kenya has scrapped one for petrol. Ruto, inaugurated on Tuesday, faces a challenge in bringing down the cost of food and fuel. But analysts warned removing the subsidy could add to upwards pressure on inflation. Nigeria will partner with the world's largest vaccine producer to locally manufacture for its immunization programs, Health Minister Asagi Ehanere said on Wednesday. Africa's most populous country currently imports all its vaccines, such as those to prevent measles, tuberculosis and polio. Ehanire said the venture between BioVaccine Nigeria and the Serum Institute of India will start by producing 15% of vaccines for local immunization. Ivory Coast expects all its cocoa to be traceable down to the farmer level by October next year, according to the cocoa regulator. The move by the world's top producer comes ahead of a looming EU law aimed at preventing the import of commodities linked to deforestation. And finally, the African Development Bank has warned that the continent is losing between 5 and 15 percent of its per capita GDP due to the effects of climate change. Africa has been disproportionately hit by the fallout of a warming planet, which has aggravated drought, flooding and cyclones.